guys, it's your girl Nicole Faye. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. It's been a little minute since your girl uploaded, I'm aware. But as you guys can see from the title, we are getting into some real nitty gritty stuff for you to have a hot girl summer, okay? So if you don't wanna smell good this summer, do not watch this video, okay? Because after you get done watching this video, people are gonna be chasing you down the street with the product recommendations I have for you to smell good this summer, all right? So let's get into this video because we got a lot to discuss. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna need you to get in the shower, okay? I just had to say that. I, Everybody doesn't really, you know, get in the shower, but you can't have a hot girl summer or smell good this summer if you don't wanna get in the shower, okay? So no more hoe or bird baths, no more standing over the sink with your towel or rag, washing your private areas. No, I'm gonna need you to get in the shower, all right? Okay, we got that covered. All right, let's 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 get into the video. So first is body wash. I typically, before I go into with my smell good stuff, like, you know, my scents that make me smell good or the body washes that make me smell good, I like to start off with body washes first that help target my skin problems. So particularly for my skin, I have acne a lot. So I like to start off with products that have like glycolic acid in it or the SA word I can't say, the salicylic acid in it to really like target the area like on my chest and back where I have like my acne problems. So I highly recommend this Dove Acne Clear and the Naturium. Everyone and their mother has been talking about this, but it really does live up to the hype. The Naturium Glycolic Acid Body Wash, they're really good to use if you do suffer with acne. Glycolic Acid is an AHA, so it really does help lighten up the skin. So if you have any issues with your skin with like just acne or just like hyperpigmentation, definitely check out these two products to help target those areas. Okay, so now we're moving on to the body wash. That smells good, okay? My favorite scent is rose. Oh my gosh. I love to smell like a rose garden that just bloomed out of the dirt. That was too much. Anyway. I'm sorry, I absolutely love rose smelling scent. My favorite flower is a rose. So anything, any body washes I see that has rose in it, I'm getting it, okay? So my favorite one right now that I use like constantly is the Olay and the Tree Hut Moroccan Rose. Oh my gosh, these smell like heaven, okay? Smells so good. I also love from Bath and Body, Bath, 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 Bath and Body Works has a really good one called Hello Beauty that smells so good. It's not just rose, like any type of floral scents that I can put get my hands on that's a body wash, it's mine. But these are the three that I've been going back and forth with that I highly recommend you to get, especially if you love to smell like a rose that just sprouted out the dirt. Next is exfoliating. Exfoliating is a must, but not every single day, okay? Particularly for my skin type, I cannot exfoliate every single day or it would literally dry out my skin. But when I do exfoliate, which is like two or three times a week to really like prevent like ingrown hairs like under my arms and my bikini area or just to help smoothen out my skin, these are the three that I've been liking so far. So this is the Laura Mercier. This is their exfoliation body wash. Oh my gosh, this stuff smells so... Wait, I just noticed this was a body wash, not an exfoliator product. Okay, I guess it's the same thing. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I like this exfoliator body wash by Laura Mercier. It smells lovely. It's another very fresh, like floral scent that just, oh, it just, it, the whole shower just lights up when I put this on, okay? Next is the Way St. Bart's Body Scrub and Hair Scrub. Oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing, plus the body wash. I used to have the body wash and then I gave it to my friend and she never gave it back to me. I'm coming for you. Give me my shit back. Anyway, this stuff smells like heaven. This stuff is so good and this exfoliator really works. The only thing about this exfoliator is that it's a little pricey, but it's worth it. Another exfoliator scrub that is little pricey is the first Sloke Silk Scrub. But if you do not like fragrance, which is the Laura Mercier and the Way Body Scrub has fragrance in it, you're gonna like this one. This one is um, non-fragrance and it, you know, the ingredients are a little bit better. This one is non-fragrance if you do not like fragrance in your products or like fragrances, you know, you just have sensitive skin to fragrance, you're really gonna like this one. It's a really gentle exfoliate, like silk exfoliating scrub. The texture is just like so different with this one, but it's $50 in, in Ulta. Yeah, I know. But if you got the coin, you know, check it out. It's really good though. This next product might be controversial, but let's talk about feminine washes, okay? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't yell at me all at once. Relax, relax, okay? Okay. I think feminine washes are subjective. 
Okay, now when I use a feminine wash, let me show you the feminine wash I use before I just like go on this tangent. So I like this PHD boric acidate foam feminine wash, okay? It's uh, for sensitive skin and it does help balance the pH, but that's not why I use it. When I use feminine washes, I do not like put them up me or inside, you get it? I don't, I don't put it inside, inside. I put it on like the outside area around the bikini line. I usually just wash the bikini line. I don't go in. So I like to do this, like, like I said, I feel like feminine washes are subjective and they should only be used like every blue moon. You should not be using a feminine wash every single day, but I feel like it comes to like an exception when you are on your cycle. <laughs> Let's just be real. Being on your cycle in the summer is the worst. It's the worst. And that's when it's uh it's really on 10 down there. So to really keep everything fresh down there, give it a little extra care, a little extra attention to really like really fresh up the area. And speaking of freshen up the area, now that you've done that to really fresh up down there, now let's move on to things you need outside of the shower. So we're gonna move on to deodorant. The deodorant I have been loving so far is the Dove Advanced Spray Deodorant. I was not convinced about these dry spray deodorants. I was seeing everyone on social media use them. I was really skeptical because I saw a video on TikTok of a girl that got like cancerous boils under her underarms from using dry sprays and it scared me. So I just picked this up like a week ago and I've been loving it. This is the Powder Soft by Dove. I really like this one. I also like really just love like Dove deodorants. And then I use this one. This is the Powder Dove All Day Sweat and Odor Protection Deodorant to put around my bikini line, okay? When it is them hot summer days and I have on a skirt or a dress or, you know, my thighs is rubbing together and it's just sweaty down there. I even said this in like a video I just did on my shorts not too long ago that, you know, it's the summertime. It gets sweaty. A lot of Kuda Mama odor is not really the smell coming from the inside of the house. And if it is, you gotta go to the doctor, of course. But a lot of Kuda Mama odor is just sweat. So, to prevent the sweat down there, I do like to take some Dove powder deodorant or any type of powdery deodorant and just put it down there around the bikini area, not on the inside, but around the bikini area, you know, just to be fresh. It doesn't hurt, okay? Especially around your menstrual cycle time, it's important, okay? Remember, this video is about key essentials you need to have a hot girl summer and to smell good. I wouldn't stay you wrong. Listen, I've been there. I've been there. I've embarrassed myself. I've been there. Listen to me. Anyway, now we're moving on to lotion and body creams, okay? So these three lotions and body creams that I'm about to show you guys are body creams that like I alternate between, but these are my like three top favorite that I absolutely love. Now the only thing is these three that I'm about to show you, they are a little thick. You know, it's hot outside. You don't really want to wear like a thick moisturizer or any thick body creams. I just don't put a lot because the, how this smells is just, irresistible. First, I'm gonna show you guys a Laura Mercier Serum Body Cream. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This smells so good, okay? This is adjacent to the exfoliator, this, the Laura Mercier. <coughs> this is adjacent to the Laura Mercier uh, Exfoliant Body Wash. This is like the same scent. I mean, coming from the same line. This stuff smells so good, like very floral, very rosy. It's just, <laughs> It's just, oh. the next one is the Hello Beauty Body Cream to the Body Wash. I have been stopped by people asking me what am I wearing? Their jaws drop when I tell them that, oh, I got it from Bath and Body Works. It's the Hello Beauty uh, line. Really? Bath and Body Works? Yes, Bath and Body Works, girl. Okay, $10. This stuff smells so good. 24 hour moisture, wonderful. Next, I had to save the best for last is the Fenty Skin Body Body Butter Drop Whipped Body Cream. This not only does it smell heavenly, it's not really a rosy smell. It's like a perfumey smell kind of lotion, but this stuff is so nice, okay? And it gives your skin just this beautiful, just hydrating glow. I mean, both of them do, but this one really does give you like a hydrating glow. Like this one is, I know 
ones. Nice. That's why I have to save this one for last. This is my favorite. The only thing about this is it's thick. And if it's 90 degrees outside, who wants to go outside with some thick body cream? But remember what this video is about, right? Smelling good this summer. Beauty is pain. Put it on. And last but not least, we cannot forget about body sprays and perfume, okay? I am about to blow you away about, you just saw it with the camera, the body spray. No, you didn't. You didn't see the name. It's okay. But I'm about to blow you away about where I got this body spray from and it smells so good, okay? I just got this a couple days ago. I did a video on my TikTok of like Dollar Tree finds. You guys, I found the best body spray at Dollar Tree for $2. This is the Spa Luxurious Rose and Vanilla Scent Body Spray. I've been wearing this for the past couple days ever since I got this from Dollar Tree and I've already been asked, what am I wearing? This stuff smells good. The Laura Mercier's whole line, I cannot pronounce what this line is, but this is the adjacent one to the body wash and to the body cream. This stuff smells so good, okay? Very fresh, very, very florally, just a beautiful, very, very dainty light scent smells so good. My next favorite like summer fragrance is the way Melrose plays. I used to have the body wash with this as well, but I use it all. This stuff smells absolutely so good too. And then to top it off with the body wash, you're gonna get chased down the street. Just letting you know. I just got this fragrance not too long ago. This is the J Marone London. This is the Saruku Cherry Blossom Cologne. Smells so good. It's like a cotton candy floral smell. Like it's not actually cotton candy, but it like gives like the aroma of like what a soft cotton candy perfume would smell like with floral scent. You get where I'm going with that? It smells good, Sephora. Last but not least, this is the fragrance of the summer. The Ness Wild Poppy Perfume Spray. I need to get some more of this. I've been holding on to this travel size for like ever, okay? I have a little drop in here and I will not let it go. I need to get another one, what am I doing? But this stuff smells so good, okay? This is the epitome of like what a beautiful floral scent is. This is it right here. Put this on and you're probably gonna need security around you. I'm not even joking. That is pretty much it of all of the product recommendations I have for you guys, for you guys to smell good this summer. One like hydrating, hydrating, hygiene tip that I do want to say before we like the video is be really intentional about what you wanna smell like that day. That is something I always keep in mind. Like if I know I wanna smell like rose or I wanna smell like fruit, or I wanna smell woody or musk. I'm really intentional about what body washes, perfume, you know, or body sprays that I put on throughout the day. So if I wanna smell like vanilla, for example, I'm gonna use a vanilla body wash, a vanilla deodorant, a vanilla lotion, or a vanilla spray. You know what I'm saying? Be really intentional about how you wanna smell if you want your scents to last all all day okay so that is it that is a wrap of the video thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching the video let me know in the comments you guys if you have any more recommendations for products that you guys use that smell really good all of the product recommendations will be listed of everything i've you showed you today will be listed in the description bar love you guys uh don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow my social medias and i will see you babies next time